Good day, SGB members, SNT, staff, parents and pupils. It is with pride that we can honour the children who have achieved academically this year. It has been an unusual year in that everyone has had to adapt to the changes in schooling that COVID has brought about. We have had rotational timetables, only 50% of children at school on any one day, reduced teaching time, restricted movement, as well as adherence to COVID protocol. We haven't been able to have gatherings, thus no assemblies or mass parent meetings. Fundraising activities have had to be adjusted, no sport activities or running around at break. That is why we as a staff are proud of these prize winners for achieving well amidst these confusing times. We have decided to do a virtual prize giving this year due to the uncertainty of whether we would be allowed to gather and then how many people would be allowed. Due to the high number of prize winners, it may have proved problematic to meet face to face. This will be my last prize giving as the principal of Whitdeep Primary School. So I would like to use this opportunity to acknowledge my thanks and appreciation to the people who have made it all possible for the past 20 years. Firstly, I would like to mention the SGB members back in 2001 who recommended my appointment as principal. They were confident of my ability to run this school and although it has had its ups and downs, I thank them for giving me the opportunity. The chance that they afforded me was to become my working life and passion for the next 20 years. I have worked alongside some very supportive SGB members over the years and I thank them for that and the contribution that they have made to Whitdeep Primary. As a principal, I have had to lean heavily on the people around me and I've been blessed to always have had a strong management team. Thank you to Mr Morrison, who was such a supportive deputy for so many of my 20 years. The ladies who are currently the SMT, namely Mrs van den Aardweg, my current deputy, Mrs McKelvey, Mrs Barwater and Miss Langson, my HODs. You are the best and I know that I leave this school in very capable hands. As a team, you will ensure that the standards are kept high in every aspect of schooling at Whitdeep Primary. It is that thought that gives me the peace of mind in my decision to retire and step down as principal. May God give you all the strength that he's given me over the past 20 years to keep, on, to keep on managing this school in the way that it deserves. Of the 20 teachers that I started with at Whitdeep Primary School in 2001, 11 are still on the staff. This speaks of strength and security. It also speaks of happiness and contentment, and I've been blessed to have each of you in my team. Today, we are a teaching staff of 32, and as different as you all are, you've stood together and portrayed the motto of this school, dedicated. This year, you've adapted to the many changes and put the education of each child first. Besides ensuring that the curriculum has been covered in reduced teaching time, I wish to applaud you for the way in which you've cared for the children in your classes. You've communicated with their parents regarding their schoolwork and welfare, sometimes on a daily basis and often at your own expense. It is greatly appreciated. I would also like to thank you for the support you've given the SMT and particularly me this year. You've gone along with the many demands and changes and have given your best. There can't be many schools with a stronger staff of teachers. I've always maintained that it's really the office staff that run the school, not me. The ladies in the office are invaluable gems. They deal with each parent, child, teacher and district official with efficiency and respect. They have the patience of saints and no task is too big or too small. I've often wondered how they manage to do it all in, they do in a day. Sometimes it's chaos in the office and yet they still manage to smile and be good humoured. Thank you ladies, not only from me, but from everyone that you interact with all day. Mrs Herbst will also be retiring at the end of the year. You'll be sadly missed Rose for your unending patience, reliability and good sense of humour. May your retirement be peaceful and fulfilling. You deserve it and I thank you for everything that you've done for the school and for each child, parent and teacher over the past 16 years. Thank you to the ground staff and Mr Owens for all that you do to keep our school clean and well maintained. It takes a lot of manpower and I thank each of you for keeping our lives comfortable in that our classrooms and grounds are kept in good order. 
Thank you also to the aftercare ladies, as well as the tuck shop ladies, for your service to the school over the past years. You put so much more in than you get out, and I thank you for always putting our children first. Over the past 30 years at Whitdeep, first as a teacher and then as a principal, I've seen many children and their parents pass through the doors of this great school. We've now got children of children that we've taught. That tells us what a terrific school Whitdeep Primary is, in that parents want their children to have the best that is an, on offer. Whitdeep Primary will always be in my heart. May it continue to grow as a leading school in Boxburg. God bless. <laughs>